Hello, my dear students, and welcome to video number four in our video series uh, about Laravel 9, Inertia, and View 3. In this video, we are going to attempt and retrieve data from our database, which will, of course, be done by our backend. And then we pass that data over to our front end through Inertia. And you will find out that uh, it's very similar to what we do uh, in the back end with Blade. The only difference is instead of uh, passing the data into a Blade view, we'll simply be passing the data in a very similar, similar fashion into Inertia. And Inertia is going to do its magic and so that the view front end will now receive the data in a form of a component props. And from there, everything will be as ex expected. Okay, so let's get to it. Going back to our uh, VS Code. And we'll be opening up, firstly, our recipe controller. Okay, and in the index, this is the one that is rendering this inertia call for the recipe component. Now, before we return that uh, render into the inertia, we are going to retrieve our data in the same way we do in the back end. So, first, let's assign this to a variable called recipes. And then we'll just call on recipe. And uh, we are going to just get it, just right there. And then all we have to do is pass it in, just like we do with Blade. Just like that. Now, all we have to do is work with our front end. So we go to resources, JS, pages, and recipe.view file. Make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So here again is the my recipes. So we go back in, uh, into the recipes page. We'll find out that it's really just this blank uh, thing right here. And also, let's just try and uh, get the data as a props again. So in, in our options API script, we can just add a comma here and we say props. It's an object, and here we'll be receiving the props recipes which is just an array, okay? So now we can use these re recipes props into our template. And for now, let's just display it as a list. So we'll have a UL. And then below will be an LI, which will have a V4. We'll have recipe in recipes. And of course, we'll have our key being recipe.id. And inside of here, we will just display the name of the recipe. Okay. Let's see. And there we go. We have two recipes, Sinugbang Bangus and Lugao. So that's all there is to it. And we want to get data from our database over at our back end and then pass it in to the front end. But uh, let's just make this a little bit better. So maybe we'll just put uh, display all these recipes in each a card. So let's fix this instead of using that. And also, we need to change something with uh, our back end because uh, remember that a recipe, a single recipe, is going to have several ingredients. Unfortunately, when we render data here, we are rendering just a JSON file of the list of recipes. And we don't have that um, 
uh, eloquent. It's no longer an eloquent, therefore we cannot uh, go down deeper to its relationships when we reach the front end. So in order for us to be able to send the ingredients together with the recipes as a JSON data, we have to do something here. So instead of just getting the recipes, we will include the ingredients. And if we take a look at the recipe model, we just have to make sure that we do have this relationship here called ingredients, which is that this recipe has many ingredients. Because of that, we can use this to attach the ingredients uh, into the recipe using the with function. So all I have to do is add a with and then here the relationship name which is ingredients. And now the recipes that we are passing into the inertia render will have the recipes together with uh, the ingredients of each recipes. Because of that, we can now use recipes into our front end. And again, we're going to use a, a card for this. So maybe we can put this into a div with a flex display. And perhaps we'll set the uh, align content Or is it justify content uh, between? Inside we'll have a card. And this card, um, what shall we do with this? Inside we'll have a card header wherein we will put our title and then we'll have a card body this is where we put our ingredients here we'll have a, an h4 for the title of Recipe name will be there. And in the ingredients, we'll have a list of ingredients. And we'll make sure to have the width of our card to be maybe 380 pixels. So we'll have a style scope here. And in our card, we are going to give it a width of 375. That would be, I think that would be good. And also we'll give it a mark. Oh, well, we can just put the margins on as classes. So we can do MB3 for our margin bottom. Okay. And if you take a look, okay, that's how it's gonna look like. Looks good. And we'll just maybe give this a background of info. All right. So now let's make this. We're going to use this to populate our recipes. And so to do that, we'll just have to V4 the card not the bind but the four again we do recipe in recipes with the key as recipe that id and now we change this with the name of the recipe so it's a recipe dot name and then for the ingredients all we have to do is v4 again based on recipe dot ingredients okay we'll just assign it into ingredient in 
ingredients and we'll have the key to be uh, ingredient.id okay and then here we'll display the ingredients name so it's going to be ingredient.name followed by the measure so you say ingredient that oops that measure and finally the unit of measurement unit and I think that's it so if we go back to our code yes we do have that but uh, our ingredients are not showing also the spacing is not right align contents between uh, we should be do doing justify content between not working still I justify content not contents there we go so now we see that our recipe is being displayed together with our ingredients and you have to remember that these data are coming from our database okay and now we're able to display it through into the inertia uh, into the view tree front end through inertia so that's it for this video thank you for watching and see you again in the next one bye bye